Hey guys, back again. So, need a little tripod for over the fire. Um, I can find nothing, no straight sticks here whatsoever. But that's fine. So, I'm going to try to turn it this way. Try to get to where you can see what I'm doing. So, I've got three sticks. They're not the biggest ones in the world. Now, I do this my way. This is not... 100% the correct way probably and I'm sure everybody else does it differently Okay, I get that You know Everybody does everything differently So I do a slip knot and then I tie a knot in the tail Pull this tight Now I'll start with my first one I'm gonna go over And then under my third one And go back over the third one and the second one go under this I hope you can follow me on this come down under up got a really this is thick rope so there back around the third back up down through again now what I'm doing is I'm prefer just really lashing this stuff together Ooh, my fire is getting warm I'm gonna start getting toasty soon I did get cold. My dumb ass is out here and a wife, you know, I just have, that's it. And a t-shirt. Now I do this a couple times. More than a couple. You just always gotta kinda... Now if you can't do that, use the trip technique. Take your stick. That. Give it a pull. So now... Here comes a really hard spot. You're gonna spread out the bottom parts of your sticks. God, I hope that you guys can see this okay. And I'm going to get me a section here, untwisted and untangled, because this really sucks. And I don't need all this rope. There it is. Cut. Now, you have it spread down here at the bottom. I'm gonna go to the bottom. If I can grab it. That fire is getting warm now. And I'll work my way up. I got a notch back here you can't see. I gotta get the rope off of. And it's gonna go in between. Back again. Same thing. Like I said, if you have problems pulling like this, Use the stick method. My hands are pretty rough and tough, so it really doesn't matter to me. Back through. Now I'm going to swing to the next one. Go here. I really hope you guys can see it. See what I'm doing. And I'm going to do the same thing. Under and up. Under and up. Just like that. Back down. Now this one, you can see how I have some play in here, it's so I can adjust it easily. My knee's on fire, guys. That fire just got hot quick. Okay. Now, wrap around this middle one real quick just so I can work with myself. Bring this down here. Through. Ooh, the fire's getting warm with my knee. Go around this one because it's going to be the easiest one. And like I'll tell you guys, I use simple knots. They are simple. Take it down. Loop up and through. Go once in. And rope out. I got one knot in. You push it and twist. My next knot, I'll go around one more time because I'm having issues seeing what I'm doing. So in. down and all I'm really doing is just making the rope wrap around the stick and tie on itself that fire is cooking my knee Whew. did you hear that 
You guys would let me know if the boogeyman is sneaking up behind me, right? You guys are cool. That's my rope. <laughs> I hope for the boogeyman's sake he has a bigger gun than I do. And then I just make a little knot. Nothing big, nothing major. The guys out there who do bushcraft, who do these special knots, are right now going, that's not the way you do it. You need a Sandusky's right trim left. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Hold on, I'll show you. Get it in place. Ho oh, ho There you go guys. Me rise you up a little bit here. Oh I opened too many of them. Let's get you set here. I don't even know how I was recording. There you go guys, quick and simple, nice and easy, little tripod, and you can adjust it. I usually kind of push mine down to the ground just a little bit, just so it won't fall, it's directly over the fire, <clears throat> and we've got that part done. Now, the one in back, you just kind of lift it up every once in a while if you want to go to adjust forward and backwards. But see, it's, it's dirty. It's not going anywhere. Hold on, I got a phone call.